on the corner. Do you have something planned for your son? Uh, we do. Um, we just haven't uh, picked it up yet. Yeah. Uh, but there, there is this idea out there. Instead of wearing uh, masks, uh, your kids wearing masks for Halloween, um, face painting is uh, growing in popularity. Yeah, it's back. And Brenda Washington shows us firsthand why the trend <laughs> is so popular. And Brenda, look at your mask. <laughs> very, very flattering. I can tell you that it's popular because these things are hard to see out of it. It cuts off your peripheral vision. I remember as a kid, you know, tripping off of curbs, you know, tripping over things because you just can't see. Stop laughing, Neely, our photographer's laughing. We're here with our models at 132 Studio. We've got our witches, our rock stars, we've got a princess, we've got lizards and all kinds of people. Just to kind of show you what you can do at home, instead of buying your child a mask, you can do face painting. Now, Christy Darby is a professional artist, and she's over here making up a Dracula. Ooh, he looks really great and really spooky. And Christy, I want to ask you, you don't have to be a professional to do face painting on your child, do you? You don't have to. Um, you can do a lot of these simple basic faces like the uh, vampire and the princess that was shown earlier. Uh, the main thing you want to make sure is that when you do use the cosmetically safe, uh, paint, you want to make sure that you're using a sponge to lay down a base and a paintbrush to uh, lay down the uh, paint. And again, make sure that it's cosmetically safe paint uh, that you can find at the stores now for the Halloween makeup. Now, should you also do a patch test just to make sure that your child is not allergic? Definitely do a patch test on the inside of the elbow about 30 minutes um, at least uh, to make sure that your child does not uh, have any kind of allergic reaction. And does this stuff wash off easily? very easily. If you have any kind of residual uh, leftovers, you can always use like a moisturizing lotion to help release the pigments from the skin. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very easy. Usually just soap and water and a nice terry cloth will take it right off. And as you say, this is just, a, just another way to keep youngsters safe and not tripping over things when they're wearing masks. Definitely. Uh, definitely. They can certainly see everywhere. Out of mm -hmm. peripheral vision, yeah, you name it. So. Mm -hmm. And you, you said you had a neighbor child who went trick-or-treating once and she fell? She tripped over a bush because she couldn't see it okay. in front of her. Well, listen, you can go to our website for more tips on face painting. That's KMBC.com. And look at our models over there, our ghouls and our spooky people. Hey, I want to point out something uh, right here. These are twins, the lizard and the pirate. The they are, oh, I'm sorry, dinosaur and pirate, right? Mm -hmm. And who's, who's older? Me. By how many minutes? Um, less than a minute. Oh, less than a minute, okay. And uh, are you guys going to go out trick-or-treating with these faces that we're seeing today? No. no. Oh, no? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to be? Well, I guess I'm going to be a goth, but it's like okay. kind of like for a boy. <laughs> okay, and you're, you wanted to be a princess. Okay, and I, I think you wanted to be a witch. Right? Okay, well, just goes to show you, you can, you know, wipe their faces off and change and make them whatever they want to be, but... I think face paintings is kind of cool, guys. It's better than these masks because you just can't <laughs> see in these things. <laughs> Lizard, dinosaur, same difference, Brenda. These, same to these me. These kids will be what we tell them to be. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be what we tell you to be. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you, Brenda. They say the cutest things. All right, 849. We have finally made it to Friday, and there's a lot going on this week.